Last Sunday was a perfect summer evening in New York, 80 degrees, clear, and here on the Tudor City Bridge overlooking 42nd Street, about 50 people, maybe more, had gathered. And they were here to see this. Coined Manhattan Henge by Neil deGrasse Tyson, the head of the Hayden Planetarium in New York, it's an evening where the sun is exactly on the horizon, lined up with the street grid. This alignment only happens twice a year, and here's why. The point that the sun sets on the horizon shifts day to day. So imagine the horizon, and the sun sets. Next day it sets a little farther north, a little farther north. You reach the solstice, June 21st. Solstice. That's Latin for stationary sun. The sun's northward motion along the horizon stops. Then it reverses itself and comes back. If the street grid aligns anywhere in there, you'll catch the sun on its way north. Then you've got to bank around the solstice and come back, and then we'll catch it on its way south. Now, the Manhattan grid is actually rotated 30 degrees from true north, which is why Manhattan Henge doesn't fall on the equinox, the day when the sun sets due west. But in any case, there's a lot of buildup. You look down the street, and the sun is coming in at an angle. You can't see it because it's blocked by the buildings on the south side of the street. And you see the north side of the street glows before the south side and then you watch the reflected angle move until, bam, the sun begins to appear. It's like you have the same anticipation as in a total solar eclipse. It's just stunning. This is where I want everyone to just pour out into the streets and stop all the traffic in Manhattan. Forty Second Street was a hot spot because of the bridge, but Manhattan Hinge for one street is Manhattan Hinge for all streets, and that's because the sun is so far away. You can imagine a light source that's sort of nearby. The the light source would come out at an angle, and it wouldn't get down every single street. Bring the light source farther away, the light comes in more and more parallel, and at 93 million miles away, all the sunlight just streams across Manhattan simultaneously. <laughs> At Stonehenge, Manhattan Henge's namesake, the rocks frame the sun during the solstice, but the NYC version is unrelated. No cosmic significance, really. It's its own thing. Manhattan Henge is its own thing. Anyway, not only is it its own thing, but it might be the only thing like it. To be hengeable, you need flat terrain a clean horizon, and a grid. All three of those combined, and I realized those circumstances that exist for so many cross streets in Manhattan may very well be unique in the world. I, I wish it weren't, because I want other cities to participate in this, but I, I'm, a, I'm coming to accept the possibility that you just don't get this anywhere else. Spoken like a true New Yorker. If you missed it this time, your next chance to see Manhattan Henge will be on the flip side of the solstice, the nights of July 11th and 12th. Both will have good views. Just find a cross street and look west. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.